all agree on everything. <laughs> nope. Yeah. That is absolutely okay. You shove it. Can you see this? I look like I got punched. <laughs> Now, can you imagine if you I drove all play. the way out to my road trip and yeah, I said no? Exactly. Oh my gosh. Where's Audrey's ring? Okay. This is a question I get so often. Hey, I'm taking over like this whole thing. Hey. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to our dinner. Today, as you can tell, we are doing a little mukbang or mukbang QA. So, grab your food and you can come eat with us. <laughs> um, today we're having Costa Vida. I have the sweet pork salad to die. Mm -hmm. I have a very chunky burrito. It looks really good. I don't even remember what's in it, but they're huge. Yeah. I'm having root beer. <laughs> you have the Mountain Dew again. <laughs> the favorites. I have it a lot. Yeah, so I asked you guys on our community post some more questions that you had from us because we posted a Q&A a little while ago and I was wondering if you guys had any more questions that we possibly didn't answer in that video and we got some responses. So we're gonna be trying to do community posts more often and using those suggestions in our videos because not everyone has Instagram, which I recognize. So today's um, questions are from our YouTube audience. I guess this one's just for me. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Hmm. What was David's reaction when Spencer asked for his blessing to marry Audrey? He was actually like super chill. I asked him over the phone because I proposed while Audrey and her family were on a road trip. So I didn't really. You didn't ever see. He wasn't there yeah. for me to ask him like in person, and I asked like a few days before I proposed. So he was honestly like really chill though. He was just like, yeah, sure. I don't know how that conversation mm -hmm. went because obviously it was a surprise. Yeah. So I never knew what you said or what he said. <laughs> were you like, were you nervous? A little bit. I mean, you don't make but phone calls in general. No, I don't. <laughs> It was just weird because like that day I had texted David and I was like, hey, can I call you sometime today? I have a question. <laughs> I mean, if that's not obvious what I'm getting at, then I don't know what is, but I don't know how we to got explain it. So many people asking this. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. And we also got it's so many people question. asking like what our parents and family's reaction were to us getting married. And we did a little, I feel like we've answered this in past videos and other Q&As and also reacting to our engagement video. So check out those videos if you want more details. Okay, this next one you kind of have to answer <laughs> too. Okay. okay, it says, what was Spencer's parents' reaction when he told them he was going to propose? I think the reaction was like, yeah, we figured. <laughs> you know, like that God, kind of we thing. already knew. <laughs> so I think their proposal reaction was about the same. That those two conversations probably went hand in hand, honestly. Yeah. Like a lot of like among my parents, these kinds of conversations were actually pretty casual. Like there wasn't really a super huge deal made out of like that whole deal. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Proposing to you while you were still on your trip was actually my mom's idea. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. That I was initially going to like arrange it with your family so that like I could get in your house so then I'd be like in your living room when you walked in. Whoa. That, <laughs> like that kind of deal. Because I've seen other people do proposals like that where they like, like they organize it with the rest of their family and then they go in and like decorate the room with oh, like cute. all their like lights and all their old pictures mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. And that's what it originally was going to do. I didn't know that. Uh, like, oh, I, I liked my mom's. I, I liked my mom's idea of intercepting you on your trip even more. I feel so bad talking and eating at the same time. Yeah. This is the problem with like having mukbangs. I am a master at talking and eating at the same time. I have developed a method that I like to call the chipmunk method. Oh, <laughs> uh, just stuff it in a cheek. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you need to like talk and you just you just shove it. Do you see this? <laughs> It looks like I got punched. <laughs> yeah, you just stuff it, it in a cheek and then talk as like minimally, like talk with your lips kind of thing. It works. It works pretty well. Okay, next question. What did Audrey think when she got scared when Spencer ran up and hugged her when he proposed to Audrey? <laughs> okay, I feel like I talked about this before. A lot of these questions relate back to our wedding and yeah. um, proposal and stuff. But like my very first reaction was he like ran up when my back was facing him, so mm -hmm. I didn't see who was coming up 
behind me. And someone just like hugged me like this. And at first- I am still so shocked that I was able to run <laughs> all the way up to you without you turning around. Mm -hmm. I didn't even hear you coming. The way I thought it was gonna happen, I like I like started running. Like I started running as like, oh, there's gonna be the kind of thing where she turns around last second. I'm just like, <laughs> but Don't then he out. never turned around, so I was just still like. <laughs> I think it helps. I was distracted because I was filming at the time. Yeah. I thought I was making a YouTube video, and so my reaction was like confused. I wasn't really that scared because. I thought it was just someone I knew, like I thought it was a roommate or like a friend because I knew Spencer was busy yeah. and like we texted every day so I knew what you're, you were doing, mm -hmm. no way I did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I did not expect you at all and so that's why I was like so surprised I couldn't even speak for like five minutes because yeah. <laughs> my brain was processing. Was like, yeah, I, I was just tell. like. What? <laughs> you turned around and you were just like... <laughs> yeah, I could tell you were very shocked. Uh -huh. Your brain was like <laughs> processing, <laughs> buffering. It was buffering. <laughs> Hardcore. I thought I was gonna know when you were gonna propose. Like, I, I thought I would be able to tell yeah. when. We had actually like talked a lot about like proposals. So like, I had let her know that it was coming because I think that's in like my brain, I think that's a good thing to like talk about it with your significant other before you propose <laughs> because like, I've heard too many stories where a guy would propose and the girl's like, no. Mm -hmm. And then it's just really, really awkward that like, I just, didn't want to propose in a situation where the answer would be no. Now, can you imagine if you I drove wanted, all like, the way out to my road trip and yeah, I said no? Exactly. No! 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 That would be so awkward. So I feel like it's important to like affirm with your significant other that they're on, on the same page. page. <laughs> but I told her that I was like, I'm gonna propose soon. Like, I'm getting your ring. Yeah, I knew when he got the ring. But I'm not gonna let you, like, know exact, like, the day that I'm gonna propose. I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep that, like, as much of a surprise as I could. Mm hmm. Yeah. And the reason why I wasn't scared, which you'd think in that situation, you'd be scared that someone's just, like, running and, like, grabbing you, like, a like kidnapping you. I think because like my sister wasn't scared because she was with me the whole time and she didn't scream or anything. So yeah. I feel like Jordan definitely would like scream or something if oh, someone definitely. was gonna take me. <laughs> oh definitely. <laughs> so if you're yeah. in actual trouble, Jordan would have freaked out. Yeah. Next question. Okay. Is it different when you're married than just dating? <laughs> what I mean is like if it's different, what did marriage change? It's different and not different at the same time. I feel like most people tend to be more like romantic slash affectionate <laughs> in the dating period. <laughs> yeah. Which carries over into like the early marriage period. But then I feel like you hit a spot where you just kind of chill. <laughs> We're the reason I'm mostly <laughs> bringing this up is because I know there's the people that are like, you need to kiss again on camera. That stuff. And there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. I'm just saying the reason like we haven't as much as we used to is because I also don't really like, like PDA that much. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're more I silly. I don't know. We're way know more silly. Yeah. And I feel like we're less... We've lost it. We are complete <laughs> psycho. <laughs> Crazy. I feel like we're less conscious of what we do in front of each other now. Like, we don't really yeah. care. Like, nothing is really that embarrassing yeah, anymore. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> nothing is embarrassing anymore. <laughs> no. You kind of just lose your... Uh, it's not really your personal bubble, but like your guard, mm -hmm. I guess. Because, I mean, we're always around each other. We both yeah. work from home. We're both in a pandemic. <laughs> like, we're always together. So, it just feels, it feels normal. Who was more worried and scared about the wedding? I want to hear your thoughts. Were you scared or worried? I would say, I think, on the wedding day. Oh, because it rained. I was, because when we got there to set up, it was like raining and windy. Yeah, you started getting really nervous, which worried me even more. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it got windy enough that it like blew over like the lights, screen. the projector screen, like everything was getting blown around. I was like, how are we gonna pull this off? Like, and we just set up everything. It took so much work to do all that. Yeah, and then I was like. It's gonna rain on us and we're gonna have to move all this stuff inside and it's just not as pretty inside. Yeah. Not saying that weddings inside aren't as pretty. There's just our setup. We worked it around our setting. 
Yeah. So it wouldn't look the same. We had picked that backyard like specifically and planned every decoration and everything <laughs> Around specifically that backyard. to that backyard. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's more of like. But all the time leading up to the wedding, I feel like I was okay about it. Mm -hmm. I was stressed as heck, but I wasn't really worried or scared. I think it was just the day of I got like nervous. <laughs> yeah. So I, I feel like we probably fairly even on that. Yeah. I don't know who was more worried. Okay, how do you know when it's time to tell your first boyfriend or your first girlfriend that you love them? That's a really good question. <laughs> Deep thoughts with Audrey no. Spence. <laughs> okay, I have a little more experience with this than Audrey does. <laughs> oh, no. I am the only relationship Audrey has ever been in, as far as mm. I know, unless you're keeping secrets. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not. <laughs> Sure. I'm sure. sure. Are you kidding me? <laughs> As you can see, I'm kind of low-key suspicious how anybody can go through high school without making the same dumb mistakes I did. Um, you study all day. Yeah. I'm a nerd. <laughs> okay, so I was in other relationships in high school. No, that does not invalidate Audrey and I's marriage, okay? A lot of people like, go through boyfriend and girlfriends before they find the perfect one. Yes, just because I've been with other people before does not mean that I don't love Audrey any less. <laughs> Just clearing that up. Anyway, so my point is, is I felt like I used I love you too loosely in high school. <laughs> and so I, in my experience, love is just a really hard thing to explain. <laughs> and it's especially hard in high school. You just kind of have to live and learn. Uh, I would say, gosh, this is such a hard question. For me, what love really felt like is when the person legitimately feels like they are your best friend and when they legitimately feel like you can talk to them about anything that's probably a really good sign that you actually love them and then it's okay for you to tell them that. If you're not sure they feel the same way, then it complicates things a little more. I guess in your case, since it, they're already a significant other. But I'm trying to think, how did we do it? A purple? <laughs> no, like, like, I know how we first told each other, but like- How, how do we know? Did we say it before we considered ourselves dating? Oh gosh. I don't <laughs> this remember. Throwing it back. Crap. Um, I think so. Yes. Yes, we wait. Yeah. Yes, yes, it was before. I honestly just think that it's one of those things where this is probably the most annoying answer you will get, but you will know <laughs> you when know? the time is right. <laughs> that super cheesy bullcrap answer that's like, hey, like <laughs> You're I'm not sure know. you'll know, you'll just know. And they're like, okay, well, how will I know? And I'll just know. And you know, and <laughs> that's a lot of no's, but. True. I think it's really just a thing that you've personally got to decide. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's not a specific amount of time, like, oh, I have to be with this person for a year before I can do it, or like 10 years, or like, I don't know. I feel like you can't really put a time on it. And going along the same lines as what Spencer said, I think it really comes down to trust. Like how much do you trust this person? Do you have fun like when you're around this person? Is this person draining or is this person like energizing? And if you feel like you're, you're getting to the point where they're kind of the same way, then just say it. <laughs> it's so scary, mm -hmm. but like. <laughs> it is very scary. <laughs> Amen, next. Amen, that was way too long of an answer. Opinions on wearing jeans. I love jeans. <laughs> I love jeans, but I also hate jeans. That's because you're a female. I'd also, <laughs> I'd much rather wear sweats or leggings. Yeah, they're, way they're comfier. comfier. I like jeans, but that's because I get big pockets. Oh my gosh. So I've never had a problem with jeans. <laughs> that's true. I know girls' jeans are lame-o. Lame-o. They offer nothing for you. <laughs> If you need jeans, just start buying guys jeans. I know. Screw this whole girl's jeans. Screw the jeans! <laughs> yeah. Next question. Do y'all agree on everything? <laughs> nope. No, I don't think And that's do. okay. Yeah. That is absolutely okay. Okay? Just because you're married does not, not mean you have to agree on everything. Relationships do not thrive by having you be like two people who just get along flawlessly. <laughs> Relationships thrive 
when you can figure out how to work through your problem. If you don't know how to work it out with each other, most likely that relationship is going to die. That's so that's sad. a harsh truth. It is a harsh truth, but that's the truth. <laughs> You're I very like, passionate mm, yes, about this. Yes, because I have made mistakes that I wish I never did. Okay. <laughs> Experience. Okay, I understand that like the initial stages of a romance, of like love, like that infatuation kind of cycle is really, really exciting. But what do you do when that fades? Because it always does. Yeah. Like you can't just have your relationship live purely on the physical attraction. There has to be more substance to it than that. Yeah, I think a relationship is all about compromise and understanding. Mm -hmm. If you are all about yourself and won't listen to the other person, then that's not true love. Yeah. Because you care. if you care about the other person, then you would care about their thoughts and feelings as well. Not saying that you should just sacrifice everything to force, like, to let them do what they want. Yeah. Because then that's also not healthy, but you should, like, both hear each other out and then come up with the solution, I guess. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at us giving dating advice. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing, I feel like society has normalized the idea of a bad relationship. Okay. Um, because, like, you hear about people that, like, oh, yeah, like, me and my boyfriend, we fight all the time, but <laughs> that's couples, right? <laughs> you're going to have issues, but if you're having issues every day, mm -hmm. like, every hour, that is a problem. Yeah. And that is not supposed to be the norm. It's okay to recognize when a relationship is not working. Yeah. Like, don't let society normalize the idea that since you're fighting all the time, that that's like normal. Okay. I'm just saying, if you can't talk about your feelings to anybody, you're probably not ready for a relationship and you should save yourself from the pain. Just do it. Thank me. All right. Oh my gosh. Where's Audrey's ring? Okay. This is a question I get so often. Hey, I'm taking over like this whole thing. Hey, <laughs> Audrey's ring is opal. Opal is a very I soft stone. I have it stone, with me right now. Which I'll means show you. It is a very, very soft stone, which means it is incredibly prone to damage. Yeah. When I looked into opal rings, the site that I read said that if you have an opal ring, your rule should be last thing on, first thing off. Mm -hmm. It is the last thing you put on when you leave and the first thing you take off when you come home. In other words, we don't really wear red wedding rings at home because <laughs> wedding rings yeah. are like, pretty sure it's more of like a custom to show like other people yeah. that you're married. But if it's just us and you guys know you're we're married, then like it's, <laughs> we just, we don't really see the need to wear yeah. wedding rings at home. We just get this question a lot and basically, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it safe. I wash my hands so many times a day and every time I wash my hands I have to take it off because it's very porous and it will damage the ring. Also I take it off when I eat so I don't spill anything on it. And I'm also just not in a good mood of wearing rings in general so I don't think to put it on when I wake up. Mm -hmm. So that's why you don't see it a lot. I should probably put it on like when I film a video but I just don't remember. <laughs> The reason yeah, why you so don't see it that often. You gotta remember <laughs> that like we neither of us really wore rings like ever until we we're married and then one day we we're just supposed to wear one every day. It feels weird. It's hard to get used to. Okay, next. What are some of your goals in 2021? I think for me is like just working hard and everything I do, whether that be with like YouTube or school, which I'm gonna start soon. Um, like maintaining like good grades. I have been out of school for like a year, so I'm already stressed about this. <laughs> so I just want to like get back into the habit of like going to school and um, hopefully like furthering in my program and also I think being less or being more selfless. I feel like focusing on others rather than yourself is a good thing. I'm pretty bad with setting like smaller goals, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like one thing I'm currently just trying to be conscious of is trying to increase my work ethic and do things when I don't want to do them, <laughs> which is a lot. <laughs> I basically just don't want to do anything ever, honestly, so. Oh, mood. <laughs> yeah. Who is a sibling you like the most from each other's family? <laughs> I hate these questions. Uh, I'm gonna say I can't choose a favorite because I don't really have one and all of our siblings watch us so I feel like they would be sad if we didn't choose them. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like mean if I picked a favorite. 
I like them all in different ways. Yeah. Because they all have like different things about them. The way I see it is these questions encourage comparison amongst fellow human beings, which is something everybody does, but I don't view it to be a good thing. Comparison amongst other human beings, whether you're comparing yourself to someone or two people to each other, you should try to not because everybody has strengths and weaknesses. I feel like we get along with each other's siblings equally. I don't know. I don't think we really have a favorite. Okay, well, that's gonna be all of the questions today. This video is probably a little bit longer, so we hope yeah. you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, you got to know us better. We are not the love experts. Everything we say just comes from personal experience mm -hmm. and, and our opinions. Our experiences are not going to apply to everybody. Yeah. Because nobody has like the exact same experiences. So. Yeah. So. Anyways, if you want us to do a part three to this video, maybe we'll do like a monthly Q&A. Um, fun. Yeah, that would be fun. Let us know and I'll probably post another community post asking for more questions. So make sure you watch for that and comment your questions and you may be in the next video. But anyways, um, hope you guys have fun eating with us and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.